Hello, I'm Rick Torbett, and welcome to another full timeout by Better Basketball. The third step in this process is this player uh, uh, is wary of this, okay? And, and you wind up being able to make this pass to this player. But again, since the direction of the movement is this way, there is a chance, and this is how I drill it, the first thing that you should do when you catch this ball is rip it back against the grain of your cut. You were headed this way, come back this way. All right, rip because this the defender's moving this way, and that's a tough stop and turn to go back and and uh, and catch you on this rip against the grain. Uh, of course, uh, there's going to be a time where the next uh, step in there is this defender is not going to go over the read line. They're going to stay in here. They've been burned now three or four times. They're going to stay here. So you're going to return this pass and catch and shoot. You're going to turn this pass, play one-on-one, -on -one, okay, because this player is going to eat this space up, space up cautiously, okay. And the last one is this. You dribble away, and the return pass, this player's filled, right? The return pass, since this player is not going to go across the read line, not going to get burned on this. They're very wary right now. Okay. The return pass is a skip pass. We pin this player in and our return pass is a skip pass.